Hi, thanks for joining us today and welcome to our demonstration. I'm Tom Luff and with me is Debbie Hoff and we are with the sales and marketing group at NERCON. And we are inside NERCON's modern manufacturing facility in Wisconsin and we are excited to be showing you some of our accumulation solutions. For those watching, our chat team is available to answer your questions via our virtual showroom, NERCON conveyor system. Before we start the equipment demonstration, here's a short video highlighting some of the many types of accumulation equipment solutions NERCON has to offer. The FlexFlow accumulator operates on the concept of an expandable travel path, which automatically changes length to match fluctuations in production. Reducing downtime of the generating unit, the FlexFlow accumulator increases overall production efficiency and operating profits. The accumulation loop is designed as a buffer or storage for upstream or downstream zones. Products that overflow are recirculated around the loop until the downstream production capacity is cleared to reintroduce accumulated products for smooth line operation. Utilizing a small footprint with a large storage capacity, NERCON's reflow accumulation conveyor table has the ability to accumulate and single file. The accumulation of products during downstream equipment shutdown is critical to overall production efficiency. Welcome back. So Tom, let's start with some accumulation basics. What determines the type of accumulation solution NERCON recommends and offers? So when a customer is looking for accumulation, there's a lot of factors to consider. First and foremost, why do you want to accumulate? You know, maybe a piece of equipment can't shut down, like a filler, a pasteurizer, an oven. Maybe you need to change out materials such as film or cardboard. Uh, maybe you need a temporary uh, storage system for running products uh, later on. So there's a number of reasons, you know, why they'd want to accumulate. Maybe you need a buffer for equipment that jams once in a while. We also factor in the product, you know, how rigid is it? What is the packaging material? Do you run multiple sizes of products? If so, what are the rates of those products? Uh, how flexible are the products. So we take a look at those factors as well as how much space you have available for accumulating, not only for the accumulation system itself, but also the upstream and downstream conveyance. And also how many products do you want to accumulate and the, the amount of time that you want to accumulate them for. So a lot of different factors uh, that go into that. So let's take a look at our first piece of equipment we're demonstrating today. This is the rotary accumulation table. 48 inch diameter can ship in 10 to 15 working days. Stainless steel wash down construction. We also offer this table in 60 inch diameter and 36 inch diameter. It's a very nice solution. It's low cost. Uh, it also this particular table also deaccumulates products as well. You'll see the overhead arms with spring steel attached, and that pushes the product to the outer edge of the table. That allows it at the discharge end to be pushed out and, and released one at a time. We've set the guide rails up so that just one product fits out of the table. So you know, not only can you accumulate, in this case, you can also deaccumulate. That is a rotary table. So next up, we have our serpentine style accumulation system. And how that works is in normal flow, we'll run this fast enough to have gaps between the products. And then when we go into accumulation mode, we slow down the conveyors and we allow the gaps to fill up. And that's where the products 
become accumulated. Uh, it's good for products such as bottles, jugs, you know, pucks, as we have shown today. It's modular, bolted construction, so you can expand it very easily and quickly. You can add more drives, more turn sections. You can also uh, incline and decline as well to make it an alpine type system. So there's a lot of different configurations and ways to set this up based upon the floor space you have available. It's nice because it has disc turns, and so they're a tight footprint. They allow for high speed operation, and it's a very economical solution. So this would be our, our serpentine system. Moving on, we have our reflow accumulation table. How this works is products come in the center of the table, and then they recirculate on the wider conveyors one of the conveyors is going the same direction as the, the in -fee conveyor, the other lane is going the opposite direction. And we fill up the table simply by letting the products accumulate, you know, going round and round. It's good for pucks, it's good for bottles, cans, you know, round products, but also for non-round products. You'll see that at the discharge end, there's a powered wheel, which when we have a non-round or an oval product, we install that wheel so it helps to single file the products coming out of the reflow table. There's no pneumatic devices, so it's a very simple and easy piece of equipment to operate. There's no gating or, or moving stops or clamps. And we do offer configurations where we can feed the table from either side, not just down the middle. So lots of different choices for the reflow table. Lots of great solutions here, both with the rotary and the reflow table. Um, a common question that we have from our customers is about cost of delivery. Talk a little bit about cost of delivery with our accumulation solutions. Right, so that's very important. Our most economical solution is the rotary accumulation table. 48 inch diameter, we sell for under $5,000 and we can ship in 10 to 15 working days. So that's a great solution, very low cost. The reflow accumulation table, you know, some is going to depend upon the overall length and the width. Typically, to start with, those are around $15,000, and they can go up to twenty-five dollars to $30,000, depending upon how long we make the table. From there, we have bidirectional tables, mass flow accumulation tables, our flex flow dynamic accumulator. We also have vertical accumulators, some that index, and others like our roll call, that's dynamic as well. So quite a few different choices uh, for accumulation. Another common question we get, um, customers concern about the product accumulating correctly or safely. How does NERCON handle those concerns? Yeah, there's so many different products that we've run and, and handled. So we have a lot of experience doing this, but we certainly will work with you to figure out the floor space you have available, the product mix you're running, and We'll test it, whether it's on a reflow table, on a mass conveyor. We have a lot of different options to be able to test the products to make sure they can be accumulated and the right solution for you. So testing is key. Absolutely. Um, I know that both the reflow table and the rotary table are part of the Procore line. What's the advantage of being part of Procore? There's a lot of advantages of our Procore line. It is a fast delivery. It's highly engineered, designed for flexibility. It's easy to modify. There's bolted construction. You know, it's competitively priced. We've tested it, so we know it's going to perform well. We've used proven belts, proven chains, proven materials. So it's a very reliable, robust system. We also can modify it to, to meet your preferences, so it's very flexible as well. So kind of the foundation for all of NERCON's conveyor systems would be Procore. Absolutely. Um, we have a few questions that we, we get frequently from some customers. Let's run through those. Can you accumulate bags and pouches? Bags and pouches are can be difficult to accumulate, but yes, we are able to accumulate them. Our NERCON FlexFlow Dynamic Accumulator is a good choice for that. The products do not back up and contact each other, so there's no product damage. We also are able to provide a lane solution where we can fill up a lane of either a bag or a pouch, shut that lane off, and then divert them to the next lane, release those as well at the discharge end. So there are a variety of solutions that we've come up with to handle those types of products. 
um, something everyone always wants to know, what's new? Right now, we just came out with a new accumulation system handling boxes of cornmeal mix, and we were able to provide a very compact footprint. We were diverting lanes of those boxes onto a roller top belt conveyor. We'd fill up that lane, go on to the next one. We, we did the same thing with dog treats as well, pouches of dog treats. So we're able to have a high rate of products being run through the system and accumulated, being able to release slugs of those products single file and a, a nice compact footprint. One last question, back to product handling. Um, accumulation solutions for bulk products, uh, individually wrapped items like candy bars. Okay, so we have a store conveyor system that we can provide where it's a wider conveyor. It has very tall sides. We load the system with mass products. We operate it very slowly. And then when you want to discharge the system, we can meter the flow of mass products out of the, out of the store conveyor. We can also do this for not just food, but detergent pods or any sort of wrap product like that that you have in bulk. So great solution for that. All great information. Thanks, Tom. You bet. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to watch our demonstration. If you have any questions about what you've seen, please visit our virtual showroom where our chat team of conveyor experts are available to answer questions you may have. We also have three additional recorded demos that you can find um, at our virtual showroom. If you haven't had the chance to watch those, please do so. And again, we thank you for joining us. Thanks, everyone.